Hello, today I'd like to talk to you about a rather interesting feature on this analog clamp meter here. Um, now just as a quick refresher, the way clamp meters work is you put them around a conductor, like so, and the current flowing through the conductor induces a current uh, in the core here that goes to the transformer and then onto the um, main display. So if I turn on my dummy load here, we can see the current shoot up to, ooh, I don't know what's that, 10 amps or something. And, well, that's how those things work. Now, one thing about clamp meters, and virtually all modern clamp meters have that, is you want some sort of hold function, because uh, you, you normally you don't have cables as easily accessible as this one here. Um, you might be working on some installation where you need to you know, get around a really thick wire somewhere and you can't actually see the, um, uh, see the meter or the display on a digital one. So what you want is you want to be able to clamp your meter around the wire and then push a hold button or something that then keeps the reading on the on the meter until you reset that. Now, as I said, all modern or virtually all modern clamp meters have that feature because it's quite um, trivial to implement in, in a digital one. But um, interestingly, this analog meter also has a hold function. So if I put that around the wire here and I turn on the load, you can see the current jumps up. And then if I slide this little switch over and I turn off the load and remove the meter, you can see the um, needle is still at the same reading on the scale and I can read that. And if I slide the lever back, the reading goes back to zero and I can measure a different current. Now the interesting thing is that this is implemented just mechanically so there's no um, electronics inside and the way it works is I think really clever but also really simple. Um, all that's happening is that you've got this little lever here and all that does is it pushes the scale of the meter against the needle and obviously the restoring spring and also the you know magnetic force due to the current is very weak. So the little bit of friction of the of the scale pushing against the needle is just enough to hold it in place and give you your um, hold function. And I think that's a really, really neat and clever little um, design. Now I did some googling and it's not super commonly used, but it has been used a lot in things where you wouldn't actually see the scales. So um, clamp meters and also um, photographic light meters, those kind of things where you you know you hold your meter somewhere but you need to read it um, afterwards. So those kind of things actually did use very similar um, schemes. I've never seen that before, but it's a really interesting and clever little design, I think. So, um, so yeah, it just shows you that you don't always have to have electronics and a microcontroller or op-amps or whatever to, to implement a certain function. So, so yeah, interesting, I think. So yeah, I hope you like this and um, hope to see you again soon.